In our continuing episodes relative to the appearance of man in the fossil record, we now turn our attention to Homo erectus. First touted when bones were discovered some decades ago, first touted as being an archaic human being, uh, pre-human but distinctive from the apes. However, it was later recognized that this individual, uh, according to New Scientist, a secular evolutionary publication, it was recognized that Homo erectus is insufficiently distinct, meaning he's parallel with Homo sapiens. All fossil remains of Homo erectus and archaic Homo sapiens, including Neanderthals, should be reclassified into a single species, Homo sapiens, which is to be subdivided only into races. So now the leading evolutionary scholars admit Homo erectus was fully human. He was not a developing ape, a pre-human, but the general public has no idea that this thinking, that this evidence has transpired. The general public still holds that Homo erectus was just barely removed from the apes. Let's get the real facts. Evidence shows that he was actually living contemporary with the Aragnation people. The Aragnation people who lived in a valley in Germany actually made star charts of Orion, getting the shorter and longer legs exactly precise, recognizing its significance in anthology of the human race. In addition to that, they carved on tusks and bones the gestation period, showing that they were just as human as, as our great-grandparents were under semi-primitive conditions. In fact, they did better than many of our modern people have done. These were totally modern people. So thus, when man appears in the fossil record, he does not appear as being simian, pre-human, with any ape-like characteristics. He appears with his culture being essential in parallel to Homo sapiens. He appears with his forebears and those who were his contemporaries actually studying the stars and examining the birth times and the gestation periods of human beings. When man appears in the fossil record, he is fully recognized as being human.